Pirate shit, nigga. Hold on, pirate shit, nigga. <laughs> bitch ass nigga, I'm back, nigga. Bitch ass nigga, you have to eat me, dig. Bitch ass nigga, you ain't ex bro, bro, bro. All right, look, it's me. One away, Elijah. It's been a long time, guys, and y'all know I miss y'all. My camera's been broken for like, goddamn couple months um i did like a photo shoot for my um, brother certified beats um and then i lost i lost uh i lost this piece right here and i've had to buy a new one that's how you're seeing me today i dropped a music video go check it out bitch ass nigga pirate shit and um yeah, just checking in with you guys. Um, you know, as the man I am, you know, as you can see, I've gotten bigger buffer, more confidence. Bitch ass nigga. Bitch ass nigga. I want to tell you niggas in the most calm way possible. Hey, don't disrespect men and don't disrespect women. Feel me? Handle it like a gentleman. Feel me? You know, even if she disrespecting you, even if he disrespecting you, handle it like a gentleman. Feel me? Feel me? Leave the premises. I've, we've all been a victim of bullshit. We've all been a victim of doing bullshit. Bitch ass nigga. Sometimes you just gotta learn to be the bigger person. You know, niggas be saying, what would Jesus do? What would Buddha do? What would Shiva do? What would Muhammad do? What would Allah do? Bitch ass nigga, what would they do? They would treat their fellow respective individuals a little better than how you might be doing it. You know, today I met uh, the Muslim shorty and she was just talking to me about like, uh, goddamn, how she switched religions because like before you know, uh, you know, before she was, goddamn, she was like, she was all up, caught up, caught up in herself. She hated life and shit. She was cursing people out. She was always so mad with people. She always had all that that retaliation, that retaliation that most blacks have in America. Cause you know, we've had everything stripped from us, bitch ass nigga. So of course, when we come down to this energy field and we we come down here looking like everything in existence, feel me? We're gonna be pit. We're gonna be pissed off at everything because it's all inside of us to be angry, to be pissed. Everything is inside us. So it's like when you switch over to other religions, it's like it's like it's calming you down. You know, getting you more connected to what you really should be thinking about, and what you really should be thinking about is nothing. You should be a divine vessel for um, uh, whatever your God may be, to be be a good vessel, give to people. You know, she th this woman tipped me $20 for doing my job. Thank you to her. I, I, that was crazy. And she taught me a lot of lessons about reality, myself, who I am, who she was. And the conversation wasn't even that short. It, it wasn't even that long, my nigga. I learned a lot. And that's that's like that's like the beauty the beauty in this shit. Like, like y'all don't even know like what I am. Y'all probably could tell by like what I post and shit, but I'm a Shiva devotee. Um I don't think I meditate as much as a Shiva devotee would. Uh and I probably should be getting to that. You know, as you can see, I'm American. So we don't really, you don't know, we don't really get, you know what I'm saying, get into our beliefs as much because, you know, we got to work and do whatever the fuck, you know, we usually do. See, hold on. Let me tell you, when you niggas, when you bitch ass niggas, when y'all was getting pussy, when y'all was making bread, when y'all was playing a game and smoking weed, let me tell you what I was doing, bitch ass nigga. Let me tell you what I was doing, bitch ass nigga. Let me, let me... I was stuck in the Rex RX 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 But ain't shit funny about this slave money, nigga. You think I want to sit in this job? 
You think I want to sit in this job and do this shit all day? No! But I got to because this is my calling. As you can see, I'm kind of going more and more insane as the days go on. My music has gotten better and better. And dethroning me, it was about how I lost a woman, a woman that was really close to me at the time. And other niggas had her. And then I made a, another mistake with my, let's say I had a new significant other. And I wouldn't say the same thing happened, but I would say a lot of bad things occurred within me. So if you ever listen to Dethrone Me Too, you're gonna hear a very insane, dramatic man. And I am that man. I'm Runaway Elijah. I'm everything you call me. I have become more and more unhinged as the days have went on. I've, I've, I feel like I'm learning who I am, but I'm also I'm also losing who I was. You feel me? Like, as every day, we turn into new people. And it's like, it feels like, in a weird way, I'm going through a rebirth. Intermission. Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so look. Um... Every moment, every second, every minute, things are changing. We're changing, you're changing. Oh, everything's changing. Entertainment isn't the same. I don't watch the same people I used to watch. Mm, I've, I'm, I've, I don't know, like, I've just, I've just been here, existing. Um, a lot of the pain I feel right now, a lot of the pain I feel right now is all self, self-afflicting. A lot of the reasons I'm, I even, I even go through these problems I go through is because I jump into something and then when shit starts to get rocky, it's like, it's like, I don't know what to do. It's like, I just keep taking hits and hits and hits. Being a man can sometimes be pretty awful. There's a lot of agony, agony and misery behind all this shit, but I don't, I don't really think you're supposed to get caught up in that. I think when your mind starts to dwindle in these areas, the best you could do is some push-ups and fucking eat some food. Um, goddamn, maybe study, go to work. Work your ass off. Try to build your own company. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't you know, all the things men do um, to escape their reality. Um, but what is, what, what do you, when will you ever really escape? When, like, from, 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 from what you're feeling, this planet. It feels like it's been made to almost make you feel all this pain that you're feeling. So why don't you enjoy it? Why don't you enjoy the misery? Why don't you enjoy whatever this planet has to offer you? And that's what I'm on now, I guess. I want to enjoy the little bits of misery I have left here while I'm here um because I'm 20 this guy right here is 20 years old um am I where I want to be sort of I wouldn't say I am I've made as many songs as I should be making but am I where I want to be really know you know if you really if you really get to understanding a lot of the things that are happening right now it could have went multiple ways for me I could have sold out and you know been bub raped by you know all these weird people in Hollywood and been famous as hell that's not really a good route or 
you know, I could just do it my own way and maybe take five more years to get where I want to be. Or I could just absolve myself from all of this, this room, this TV, where I currently live, and just abandon all of you and everyone and meditate for the rest of my life until I'm free from the worldly affairs but as you can see I have a watch on in a ring so I'll probably go the second road I'm very business motivated all I do is go to work make music that's all my life has become can you replace me no you can't my voice is way too different from all of you niggas my personality is way too different from all of you niggas I don't really think I belong in the place that I'm in right now. I think I deserve better, way better. Um, and I'll get that. It's, 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 it's only a matter of time before I realize everything. And once I do, I'll knock all of you down. Piece by piece. Because in the end, hey, I am the Pirate King. Show you three. I am a pirate, you see me.